Hello everyone, welcome to this informatory video regarding KPAC examinations. In this video, we'll be discussing about importance and weightage analysis of all the civil engineering subjects. So one by one, let's get, get into it. Now over here, in this particular slide, we'll be starting with the weightage of all the subjects which have been asked in the years 2019, 2021 and 2022. And the four papers which we'll be discussing, it is KPWD examination, KW, KWRD examination, KPWD A examination of 2021 and KPSC A examination of 2022. Please keep that a note that in all of these examinations, total number of questions which were asked were 100. So the table which you are seeing over here, Corresponding to the subjects, there is a number. Now, this number signifies the number of questions which were asked out of the total 100 questions for that particular subject. So, first subject, let's start. That is building materials and construction. Now, here you are witnessing a large amount of variation. In KPWD 2019 examination, only one question was asked. But, you see that in KWRD A, 14 questions were asked out of 100, which is a huge difference. After that, again in KPWD, only two questions were asked. And in KPSC A 2022 examination, only four questions were asked. Again, you cannot say anything about this particular subject that if you should leave it or not. From my point of view, because of this huge variation, this particular topic is important and also I am telling you with respect to uh, with respect to my experience regarding assistant executive engineer examinations and junior engineer examinations. Building materials and construction is a very very important subject so you cannot leave this subject. After that solid mechanics again a very important subject. Out of Total 100 questions in 2019, 14 questions were asked. But again, this number dropped to 4 questions in KWD examination, KWRD examination, and 6 questions in KPWD and KPSC 4. Again, you cannot say anything about this because you are seeing huge variation. So again, you cannot leave solid mechanics. So strength of materials is very, very important. After this, comes structure analysis, again one of the most important subjects in civil engineering. Huge weightage has been seen in KPWD, again 25 questions. So in KPWD, it is quite clear, high weightage has been given to strength of materials and structure analysis, right? But when we talk about KWRD, again only 3 questions were asked. KPWD A examination, only 19 questions were asked. Right? And KPSC, only 7 questions. Right? In KPSC, KPSC examinations, you can clearly see that the number has been very, very less with respect to building materials, strength of materials and structure analysis. Right? So, again, this, these 3 subjects are considered very important. Large amount of variation is seen. So you cannot leave this particular subject. Now comes design of steel structures. Now design of steel structures hold, hold very good importance in various assistant executive engineer examinations and junior engineer examinations, right? Also including engineering services examination. But here in KPWD, no question was asked in design of steel structures, right? After that, in KWRD, KPWD, KPSC, very less questions were asked. So yes, you can think of leaving this particular subject, but not surely, right? If you want to score good, try to cover 100% of syllabus. But yes, if you are falling short, so you can keep design of steel structures as one of your optional subjects. After that comes design of concrete and masonry structures. Over here again you can see no question was asked in KBWD examination. 
which is very surprising. These two are one of the most important subjects. But no question was asked in KBWD. Again, we see a very less number in KWRD and KPWD examination of 2021. So it's quite clear from the KPWD examination history that steel structures and RCC both are of very less weightage. But in KPSC, good weightage has been there. So again, it's up to you if you want to prepare both of these subjects or not. If I were on your side, yes, I would have prepared these two subjects, but I would have given them time after completing the more important subjects. Now comes construction planning and management. So this subject is very, very important. You can see this in the weightage as well. Now see in KPWD examination, nine questions were asked. So very good weightage. After that in KWRD, four questions, KPWD again 17. So it is quite clear that from, from both of the KPWD examinations, 9 and 17 questions, good weightage. KPSE, very less weightage, only 3 questions. Right? So don't, you know, ignore every subject who is having le less weightage. So let's say if you have seen over here, these 3 subjects which are having less weightage in KPSE examination, this doesn't mean that you will leave all those subjects which are having less weightage. Because now you can clearly see 4 plus 4 plus 3, this becomes a quite good number, right? So yes, one or two subjects you can leave, but not all, right? After this, after this, let's talk about fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines. In KPWD, no question was asked. Very surprising. Right? And again, KPWD A, only two questions again. Very surprising that KPWD is not giving weightage to the very important subjects. After that, KWRD, 12 questions, good weightage. KPSC, 5 questions have been asked. After that, let's talk about hydrology. Hydrology has given has been you know, given again very less weightage, two questions in KPWD and no question was asked in 2021. Six questions good weightage in KWRD and two questions have been asked in KPSC examination. Irrigation engineering, again, uh, sometimes in various state level examinations, hydrology and irrigation engineering also comes under water resource engineering. Here again, very less weightage in KPWD examination. Here also and here also, only one one question was asked. KWRD, good weightage, six questions. And only one question was asked in KPSC examination. Right. Now let's see environmental engineering. So this is very, very important subject. As per the weightage in the examinations, which is quite clear, KPWD, 22 questions were asked in environmental engineering. After that, KWRD, 8 questions were asked. And again, KPWD, good weightage, 28. So you can clearly see in both of the KPWD examinations, good weightage has been asked. And KPSC also, good weightage, 8 questions were asked. Next subject is your geotechnical engineering. One of the best subjects out there, like my personal favorite. And why? Because it is having good weightage in almost all the competitive examinations. In geotechnical engineering, again, KPWD, no question, right? This happens very rarely that no question was asked in geotechnical engineering. Though it is very, very important subject as per almost all the competitive examinations. In KPWD, again, 2021, no question. So you can see the consistency of both the examinations, right, 2019 and 2021 in KPWD. The weightage has been consistent for both of these examinations. In KWRD, huge variation is there and KPSC also, huge variation is there. Now you can see in geotechnical engineering, 23 questions were asked in KWRD, good weightage. Out of 100 questions, 
ट्वेंटी थ्री क्वेश्चन आर डेडिकेटेड टू जियो टेक सो अगेन वेरी गुड वेटेज एंड नाइन क्वेश्चन इन केपीएससी एग्जामिनेशन सर्वे फोर क्वेश्चन वर आज इन के डब्ल्यू आर डी राइट नॉट आज इन केपीएस केपीडब्ल्यू डी एंड हेयर ऑल्सो नॉट आज एंड आफ्टर दैट सेवन क्वेश्चन वर आज इन केपीएससी एग्जामिनेशन राइट आफ्टर दिस एस्टिमेशन कॉस्टिंग एंड स्पेसिफिकेशन नो क्वेश्चन थ्री क्वेश्चन वर आज इन केडब्ल्यू आर डी थ्री क्वेश्चन इन केपीडब्ल्यू डी एंड फोर क्वेश्चन आर देर इन केपीएससी एग्जामिनेशन राइट एंड आफ्टर दैट लास्ट ओवर है लास्ट स्लाइड रिगार्डिंग द वेटेज ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंजीनियरिंग राइट दाउन दिस ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंजीनियरिंग कंटेन्स द सिलेबस ऑफ हाईवे इंजीनियरिंग रेलवे इंजीनियरिंग एयरपोर्ट्स इंजीनियरिंग हार्बर्स एंड टनल्स ऑल ऑफ दीज टॉपिक्स आर कवर्ड इन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंजीनियरिंग गुड सब्जेक्ट वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू केपीडब्ल्यू डी एग्जामिनेशन नाउ यू कैन सी दैट वेटेज इज वेरी वेरी गुड आफ्टर दिस के डब्ल्यू आर डी सेवन क्वेश्चन एंड फोर क्वेश्चन हैव बीन आज इन केपीएससी एग्जामिनेशन आफ्टर दिस ब्रिज इंजीनियरिंग थ्री क्वेश्चन एंड सिक्स क्वेश्चन राइट इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिक्स ओनली फोर क्वेश्चन वर आज इन केपीएससी ए एग्जामिनेशन and general aptitude and general studies have been given importance in only and only kpsc exam right so general studies questions which were asked in kpsc examination but 21 and after that general aptitude and reasoning only four questions but my take over here is that in kpsc specifically in kpsc examination almost each and every subject somewhat has been given importance i cannot bifurcate between the importance of the subjects in kpsc but yes in K kpwd examination huge amount of variation is seen and the consistency also is maintained regarding the kpwd examinations you can follow this but i will say regarding the kpsc ae examination i'll say that try to cover as much syllabus as you can because that is very much important if you won't cover it maybe there is a possibility you may lack in getting good marks right so try to cover almost 90 to 95% of your subjects right and depending upon your strengths and weaknesses you can leave a particular subject if you want right next let's see the importance of the career growth if you go for this examination right many of the students out there are craving to get into this examination right are craving to get into the post of executive engineer right the starting post will be of assistant executive engineer after that you'll take right you will excel in your job the next post will be executive engineer after that superintending engineer after that chief engineer of class 1 and after that chief engineer of class 2 after that project engineer and this is the highest post a government engineering employee can take that is engineer in chief yes getting from this point to this point this will take around 25 to 30 years of your career even more than that right so this will take time but the point is as your post will get increased the power of the post will also get increased right and also yes money is an aspect money is one aspect obviously you will be getting uh, your remuneration advantages also as you move to the next level of the post but the power of your signature will be humongous that is the point of giving this examination and try to crack this examination as early as possible why because if let's say i'll say the age limit of this examination is 30 years right 
and if you get into a post of assistant executive engineers there is a very high chance if you are getting this particular job at the age of 24 to 25 then your probability of getting to to this highest post increases compared to a student who is cracking this examination at the age of 30 so a difference of 4 years makes a huge change over here so try to focus on your subjects try to focus on your strengths and try to crack this examination as soon as possible right after this when you are appointed as an assistant engineer these are the points to be discussed number 1 you'll be contributing to the planning and developing and implementing of various projects in karnataka state after this you'll interact with the project manager and review the work status of the projects and mind you while doing this you'll be gaining huge amount of experience you'll be meeting experienced people in your own field that is called as learning right yes one learning is like through the books but this is experiential learning after this you will be visiting the sites periodically and assessing the progress of the uh, project after this you will be estimating cost and maintaining the budgets of the department the budgeting of the projects will be in your hands sir this is a very very good opportunity for you after this kpsca salary range will be somewhere around 43000 100 to 83900 which is well above the indian average so if we talk about some it fresher out there the average salary of an it fresher for the last year it was somewhere around 20000 rupees right it is somewhere four times more than that the maximum value it is four times more than that right after this what we can help you with so you can see this on ace online platform you can avail our self paced program that means our pre recorded lectures are available for all the subjects which we have discussed you can avail that opportunity and the subscriptions are available for 3 months and the cost is 10000 rupees for 6 months the cost is 18000 rupees for 12 months the cost is 25000 rupees the total number of hours which will be hours of videos which will be given to you will be of 500 plus hours of content right so detailed subjects are given to you including the examples which will help you excel in this examination and what are the other features free online test series will be given to you doubt clearing sessions will be given to you after that there is an option of ask an expert so whenever you are facing any issue regarding the concepts or let's say you are practicing some questions you can ask directly from the experts and they they will reply to you as soon as possible so thanks a lot for watching this video i hope you the best